hi guys welcome back to my channel it's second week of October and I'm shooting a video for my getting ready with me video shop my stash for October 2020 now I'm wearing a kind of pink um, top right now but in case you're wondering in my upcoming videos I'll be wearing the same it's because I'll be shooting today a couple of videos in one go so hopefully I could um, get through with this I've already lined up what's on my next shoot so anyways so I've already um, do my uh, skincare routine first I cleansed it with my Garnier micellar and then I've toned it with this Thayer's toner for my under eye, I used my Garnier Rollerball and then I put on my sunscreen which is this Esfolio Berry Cream and for my moisturizer, I used my Olay Total Fix. For my lips, I prepped it with the Body Shop Vitamin E. For my face primer, I'm going to apply this Maybelline Baby Skin Primer has silicone in it so um, yeah I, I love this I love this primer um, it's really good especially for oily skin because it prevents it from you know from washing up your makeup because of your oil your natural oil this used to be a rave before but now suddenly for my foundation I'm going to use this Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum and my shade is Vanilla Claire or Fair Vanilla or Light Vanilla. So that's that. I think I need to shake it. Um, I've already done a video of this. I've already shot a video but uh, it was really noisy so I have, have to reshoot it. And I'm going to use this e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. Yeah. I'm just gonna put this first one. Yeah. Um, I do have quite um, blemishes and acne because of wearing daily masks, facial masks. So. I have to use a kind of a heavy um, concealer to cover up. Oops. I remember this used to be a fave before this bourgeois one. Um, I remember watching the Pixie Wu sisters uh, use this in the in in one of their videos and. Uh, yeah, I, I was hunting it down for those online sellers who are selling it at, at an affordable affordable um, price range. It's so expensive so, because it's shipped from the UK, so it's quite expensive. And the conversion, the currency is really expensive. So. I have to really hunt down those um, sellers who really um, sell one of these at a cheaper and affordable price because it's too expensive. And I'll just um, staple it with there's still quite a few but we'll deal with that I'm going to set this aside for my cream blush I'm going to use this Luna Organics autumn clay blush and I think this is a local brand but I love it 
I'm just gonna use my fingers to blend this out. So, how are you guys? It's been a while. I know last week I haven't uploaded it because I should have uploaded a video which is this one but when the time that I edited it down it was I don't know what's wrong with my um, video edit editing um, software and then and the sound the background sound is so noisy it was raining and then the neighborhood at the back of our house is singing video okay, so so loud and you couldn't hear me so Yes, I have to reshoot the video. Okay, for my cream highlight, I'm going to use this e.l.f. Uh, Shimmering Facial Whip in Spotlight. I still remember this. Um, it's, yeah. I don't know if e.l.f. discontinued this product um, already or not yet, but it's really it's uh, a little goes a long long way with this and it's really worth the hype so yeah I love this I really do uh, I, I just I just can't get over with this product uh, I hope that elf didn't discontinue this because it's really worth the hype and it's really um, worth your penny so, and a dollar or two dollars and you will get this kind of amount and you will only need one to two drops so why not for my cream contour I'm going to use this this is the MAC Skin Sheen Bronzer Stick in Tan Tint which looks like that and I'm gonna use this foundation brush from Coastal Sense I don't know if Coastal Sense still uh, sell this on their website, but I, I don't know. I bought it from there. So, if not, you can just use any kind of foundation brush that you have. Then I'm going back to my foundation brush and kind of blend everything. So, hi guys, I'm back. So I've already um, done my eyebrows off camera. If you want to know how I did this, this is my recent eyebrow routine. You can just click the icon notification there, up there, and uh, it will lead you to that video. I've already uploaded it, so do check that check that out. Now I'm going to take this NYX concealer in a jar in beige now in here in camera it looks really really dark and not really good on not really match on my skin tone but in real life it, it really matched because I do have a very very yellow undertone so this one this beige is really good so I'm just gonna apply this first on my face using this Real Techniques deluxe crease brush and what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna just dab it like this I don't know if this is also still on NYX website but it is really thick has a thick consistency but it's really good for those stubborn um, blemishes and redness on your face but it's not good for under eye concealment so all right let's go for the eyes I'm going to prime my lids using this NYX eyeshadow base in white I think this is already long gone discontinued so I don't know if this is still available, but um, 
um, this is already been it's a long time ago so, I love this I'm gonna use this as my primer next I'm going to take this one this is the Revlon Illuminance cream shadow and the shade is pink petal and I'm going to take this one right here this lightest pink I'm gonna use this as my base just a tiny bit don't put too much or else it'll crease it's just something for the shadow to stick on to Next for my eyeshadow, do you still remember this? This is a limited edition from the body shop and this is the University of the Arts London, London College of Fashion and my shade is Boho Beauty. Do you still remember this? I know this has two. One is the smoky look and this one is the Boho No, Yeah, I know. I, ju I just love this one so I'm gonna use this. First, I'm going to take a uh, fluffy blending brush see this. and I'm going to apply it with this one right here, this kind of a beautiful um, medium brown and I'm going to put this on the crease. This will be as my transition shade and crease shade. The problem with this one, it was on hype to be honest because it's really powdery and there's a lot of I think there's a lot of palettes that has the same as this one and NYX used to have different shades same as this one so but I just love it because it's the packaging is really good and everything my favorite shade is already in here so why not I love Body Shop. I love the brand. I love, love them so much. I think the Body Shop is owned by L'Oreal, right? And L'Oreal is owned by Estee Lauder. Yeah, Estee Lauder. So, and Estee Lauder also owns Maybelline and MAC Cosmetics. I don't know if NARS is also owned by Estee Lauder, but I think so. So no wonder when MAC releases some of their limited edition ones, like those extra dimension, it's almost the same as been previously released by Estee Lauder, but different kind of concept or different kind of designs. I'm going to set this aside because I need that to blend. Next, I'm going to take this flat shader brush. Um, this is just a local one. This is the Showil. It's just local. And I'm going to apply this um, orange peachy shade on my lid. And do leave the outer corner open because I'm going to use the darker shade on it. I just love the darker. So this one is kind of, this one is matte, a matte orange. Today, um, I've decided to do a couple of videos, like what I've said a few minutes ago. We do a couple of videos. It's in front of me, those post-its in order of what video that I'm going to shoot next. So I do apologize if in the upcoming videos I'm wearing the same top. It's because of that. So it's because all of you guys. I love all of you guys. And then at the back of this eyeshadow I'm going to apply this and put this all over the lid on top of that peachy orange shade uh, 
Now taking this fluffy brush again, I'm gonna blend the crease. To have that soft edges. Now I'm going to clean this up using this one. And I'm going to apply this. This is kind of a beautiful brown wine color thing. I'm going to apply I'm going to apply this at the outer corner. And what's left on the brush on your lower lash line. Right there. I do apologize, I'm tapping off the excess. So if you hear kind of a loud sound, it's because of that. This e.l.f. blending brush, this one right here, and blend this out upwards towards the crease and inwards towards your neck. Blend that out. Cross your lower lash line, try to blend. Ah, I broke myself in the line. face looks weird. Look at me. Okay. Now this one has no any matte under eyebrow highlight and I cannot use this one right here because it's kind of sad and shimmery so I'm going out of this quad. So I'm just going to use my favorite under eyebrow highlight which is the Essence Blockbuster and I'm gonna use this Eco Tools eyeshadow brush. Going back to your blending brush and kind of blend your under eyebrow highlight and that without putting anything on, alright? Okay, now I'm going to apply my mascara last because I find it smudges whenever I put a setting spray on it. So. Now let's go for my liner. I'm going to use my favorite. I don't have anything liner. On my stash, except this one. This is the NARS Coconut Groove, and this is I don't know, this is an angle brush. I forgot what brush is this one. I'm gonna put this on my upper lash line all the way here, thinner right here, and then while you're going outwards, make it a little bit thicker by smudging it using this brush. And then kind of dab on your lower lash line. Okay. Lightly dab it so that there's kind of a shape. So let's go with the other eye. Smudge it right there so that it looks a little bit thicker on the outer and thinner on the inside. Okay, so for my under eye uh, concealer and corrector, I don't have other concealers, but I'll just use my Target pen 
this is the city color dark spot corrector and the real techniques luxe crease brush just a tiny bit And then this is the for my concealer. I'm using this Misha Signature Extreme Copper Concealer, and my shade is 21. So concealer brush, just dab it a little bit. So, thank you. Then I'm going to set my favorite setting under eye. Uh, this is the Ben Nye Banana Real Techniques Set Brush. To set my face, I'm going to use this Physicians Formula. Powder palette multi colored pressed powder, and my shade is puff. And I'm going to use Bill Techniques blush brush. I'm just gonna just like this because I don't want to remove the then I'm going to take this MAC Studio Sculpt Defining Bronzing Powder in Golden Rims for my all over bronzer. I don't know if this shade is included on their permanent range, but yeah, I just love it. And this is Essential Tools brush, which is kind of like same with, with the one with the pinch right here. It's the same as the e.l.f. complexion brush. So, like so. And then I'm just gonna put this just on the tops of my cheekbones or where the sun would hit. So this is a very, very light um, shade. So it's very, very light. I think pull this off during winter or in your country or just beautiful lightly glow. Now same brush, I'm going to take this NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny and this will be as my contour. And then I have this small brush like this, one that kind of there's a pinch on it. I don't know what is this from this set, but I'm going to take this bronzer again and I'm gonna put this. Here on the side of my nose. Like so. Then for my blush, I'm going to take this Jane Blushing Cheeks and the shade is Blushing Wine. Now this one is a little bit dark for me so I need a light hand on this. But it's really pretty, it's kind of mauve pink shade, wine to be exact. And I'm going to use this angle brush from Daiso. It's really pretty. Tiny dab, like so. Going back to my blush brush from Nail Techniques, where I used the powder as my powder brush. I'm just going to blend everything.
For my highlight, I'm going to use this Physicians Formula Powder Palette Mineral Glow Pearls in Translucent Pearl Spray And I'm going to use this powder brush from Daiso Such a pretty powder brush Tiny but Alright, then I'm going to set my face with this spray. This is the Beauty Bakery uh, Clarifying Rich Hazel Facial Mist. Now this is a local brand, I love this. before I apply my mascara and lipstick okay let's go first with my lips for my lip liner I'm going to take this LA colors lip liner pencil and the shade is shadow now this one is a little bit darker on my lips so but yet it does give some neutral color it's such a pretty shade Then I'm gonna fill my lips with this. Hmm. Wow! Pretty. Okay, and then for my lips. I'm going to apply this Revlon Moondrops lipstick in iced coffee now. Do you still remember this? I don't know if they are selling all of this again in their website, but I don't know, I just love this. Um, this has a frost finish. One of the drugstore brand that I love is Revlon and I think Revlon has been in the beauty community for almost 100 years I guess one of the vintage um, beauty aside from Max Factor and maybe then of course maybe too. okay let's go with um, mascara I don't have previous mascara because I'm not keeping up with old mascara so I'm not gonna you know, I'm just gonna use what I've been using lately and this is Tony Moly eyelash curler I do apologize for the dog it's such a mental we have a lot of mental dogs here Apologies. Right, for my mascara, this is the Maybelline The Forces Lash Lift Mascara and the shade is black. I love black. I love black mascara. I'm not a fan of putting mascara on the bottom lashes, so I'll skip that. And I do have this one right here, so I'll just remove that with using a concealer brush. Just tap it a little. Alright guys, that is it. That's my getting ready with me video. 
for my for the month of October 2020 shop my stash um, yeah so if you like this kind of video please do click the thumbs up below if you like it and if you are new to my channel hi my name is Anne don't forget to subscribe and for those who are already my subscribers don't forget to click the bell on for being notified I upload a video once a week every Sunday thank you so much for watching guys hope to see you in the next video bye